Right now, new laws are in effect here in Georgia, likely impacting you and everyone else across the state. Atlanta News First, Asia Wilson is live right now. She's at the Georgia State Capitol breaking all of this down for us. Asia, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. We've been talking about several of these laws for weeks now, including one that stiffens the penalties for illegal speed racing or street racing and others as well, including House Bill 1015, which drops Georgia's income tax this year from 5.75% to 5.39%, supporting a more long-term goal of bringing the income tax to below 5%. And if you're tired of all those random calls, Senate Bill 73 will now hold companies liable for illegal telemarketing calls made by third-party contractors. And then there's also something called the Safe at Home Act, which requires all rental units to to be fit for occupation and meet state housing codes and other health and safety standards. It also restricts the amount landlords can ask for in a safety deposit in an amount that cannot exceed two months rent. And lastly, there's also the new cash bail law, but only part of it is in effect now. The law requires cash bail for 30 more crimes, including 18 that used to be misdemeanors. Now, part of the law would also limit how many people bail fund groups can help, but that section has been blocked for two weeks because of a lawsuit against the state. We don't have the luxury of just leaving our people to languish. So, no, we will not stop until we are able to get equitable treatment. So what that means is litigation. Now, if you want to learn more about all of the laws that I just mentioned, you can find everything you need to know posted right now on our free Atlanta News First app. For now, we're live in downtown Atlanta from Georgia State Capitol. Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First.